everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win number 948, and I have so much delicious seafood standing in front of me. I am here again, still, in Vero Beach, Florida. We've got lots of people here on the Treasure Coast, which is much appreciated. <laughs> It's pretty much a seafood restaurant with an Irish theme, but Lou is going to help me tell us about the Seafood Tower Challenge that I'll be taking today. Start here, Lou. Tell us about all this fried seafood here. This, this is going to be a sampler of our fried oysters. We have fried shrimp, our fried haddock, some french fries under there. Come down to the boil. You're going to have a live main lobster. You have a snow crab, our peel and eat shrimp some corn, sausage, and down here with our raw bar, you have top neck clams. We have a, a sampler of the different oysters we do at the restaurant. We have uh, the dirty oysters, the sushi oysters, and the ceviche oysters. This will be my first time having raw clam, so that is exciting. It's also my first time having an entire lobster, so that is gonna be delicious. In addition to this, tell us about the tuna bomb. That'll be what I start with, it's an appetizer. Yeah, this is our number one seller. This is the tuna bomb, a seared tuna. We cover it with a little bit of sriracha and wasabi aioli and a sweet and spicy soy. Over here, is, this is my, my mom's uh, butter cake she makes for the restaurant. I had them add that. That's that not really part of the challenge. I had them that do that because I want to try it. But this is, it's a what? The apple pan dowdy. This is our, one of our new desserts. All right, and I'm probably going to get a fresh one later on with the actual ice cream, it's all melted now. But I've also got two beers that are made by Budweiser specifically for the restaurant. We've got a Green Marlin Red and a Green Marlin Lager. But if I fail this challenge within the 45 minute time limit, I'm gonna have to pay $129. But if I win, I'm gonna get my meal free, I will get a sweet t-shirt and a hat, and I'll be the very first person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame here at the Green Marlin Restaurant Raw Bar. So Lou, thanks for having me in to help kick off the challenge. Let's get it started. All right, time to shut up and eat and just feast on all this delicious seafood. Big thank you to my friend Thomas with who? Richard Coast Foodie and Saber Club. Yes, and then I've had such a good time so far. I wish Katina was here. Uh, I'm staying at Costa de Esta, which is an amazing resort here in Vero Beach, feeling refreshed and ready to eat. I think I'm going to start up here with some of the fried fish and just work our way. I'm most excited for this lobster here, but let's do it. One, two, three, boom. All righty, keep that here. We've got, this is not required, but we got tartar sauce, um, cocktail sauce, and ketchup. And this fish was on steroids. This is huge. We're not going to use that. 
Everybody always believes that. Dislodge the tail from the body. You can twist it. Grab the twist. Just twist it. Twist and pull. Yeah, there you go. You don't. Separate the body. You won't need anything in the body. Just the tail there. Okay. That's all. Go away. Leaving no doubt. And then I think this is all going to come dislodged. Oh yeah. All right, making progress. That lobster was amazing. All right, now we're gonna work on, just to get these out of the way, these snow crab legs, but I think these are gonna be good. I practiced on one of these earlier. <laughs> Professional. Got another good one. We got potatoes, we got sausage, we'll get those down too. Let's finish off this other giant fish fillet. Fried shrimp here, there's fried oysters. I'm already done with the fish. We got hush puppies here too, and then fries on the bottom. Right at 17 minutes in, we got plenty of time. I'm gonna keep eating this fried fish while uh, peeling this peel and eat shrimp. Twenty-one minutes, fifty-five seconds in. minutes in, let's do this pokey first. Or not pokey, uh, tuna roll. Tuna bomb. Oh, that is good. My first time having raw clams, I like them. I think I'm gonna like oysters more though. Just make sure you enjoy your food more than me. All right, we're done with all the clams. Now we're gonna work on the oysters. This is a sushi oyster. 
I discovered during that Pacific Counter Challenge in uh, Lakewood Ranch that I love seaweed salad. This is delicious. Last of the sushi oysters. Now we're working on a dirty, which I think has fish eggs. Caviar and uh, sour cream. Caviar and sour cream. Okay. It's got caviar. I need to eat these with my pinky up. Last of these. Now we're on to the ceviche oysters. Diced onion, vinegar. Let's try it. Definitely taste the vinegar. I'm going to go with the sushi ones as being my favorite because of the seaweed salad, but this is delicious too. Last ceviche. Come on over, Lou. Get your creation back. Delicious. All that ice is starting to melt, so let's get that off. We're exchanging this already uh, melted one, all the ice cream's melted, this apple a la mode, for a fresh one. All right. Let's enjoy this one first. I don't know what a la mode is, but it sounds delicious. With ice cream. Oh, with ice cream, okay. Huh. That's the bestseller? Oh, it's one of the new ones. It's becoming a bestseller. And the apple is warm. This is amazing. It's hot. Glad I have ice cream. I'm more of a chocolate person, but I can't appreciate that. That was delicious. Leaving no doubt, it's all going down. I don't want to have this beer after this butter cake because I want to savor the flavor of the butter cake while I'm signing photos. But let's finish off the rest of this green marlin red. All right, done with that. Right at 39 minutes in. This butter cake is the recipe of Lou's mother, and it's got raspberry. It's a raspberry compote. Raspberry compote. And I like it because there's no lemon in it. Some people add lemon to butter cake, and it doesn't belong. This is amazing. And it's got raspberry, so I'm getting some fruit. All right, last bite. Seafood Tower Challenge is 40 minutes and 59 seconds. That was my first time having a full-on lobster. Really frustrated me at the beginning, but once I figured out the actual lobster meat, the lobster tail, that was all amazing. The tuna bomb that I had towards the end, I really wish I could have savored that more, but I was really worried about not finishing in time. Lou is going to come on over and hand me my sweet t-shirt and hat. Thank you, Lou. We've got green marlin here in Vero Beach on the cap. And then we've got, okay, that does not fit. But we've got a long sleeve, so that is cool. We've got the green marlin restaurant and raw bar. And then on the back, we just got another logo. Like I said at the beginning, well, they've got on the shirt, go where the locals go. It was overall win for me number 948. I've got two more coming up, thanks to my friend Thomas, which, go ahead and plug yourself. Treasure Coast Foodie and Saver Club. Yes, and then thank you, of course, to the hotel that's got me here while I'm here, Costa de Esta, and then yes, big thanks to everybody involved, and of course, Lou, and yeah, delicious seafood. Thank you guys for watching. Woo!